your love Where you're holding me and touching me, baby Kissing me and caressing me, baby I never ever want you to stop, babe. I don't wanna give it up Ain't no second guessing This is it, no question We create the best within Our CD. Thank you very much, and uh, it, it was uh, uh, fun doing it, remastering it, and then looking back years ago, some of the old stuff, you know, and uh, it, it really felt pretty good, uh, but uh, uh, just being here today really makes yeah. me very happy. I, You're performing in a church here in Southeast, that is so wonderful. What brings you here, because I understand it's for the youth. Yeah, it's for the youth, and uh, when I saw all those wonderful little kids out there, I was deeply inspired, you know, uh, to do this song whatever they wanted me to do you know and uh, uh and i was surprised how well they sing you know yeah. and how good they sound look i didn't i didn't expect such small kids you know yeah. little teeny teeny ones up like stair steps you know but how many you got out there about 20 25 they're so talented they have a tribute to chuck brown you go all the way back to Bustin' Loose. What made you create this song, Bustin' Loose? It took about, oh my goodness, it took about two years to really get it together, you know. Uh, I started working on it in 1976, and by the time we got it ready, uh, in 77, uh, the end of 77, it was ready. Keep what you got until you get what you need, y'all. Give a lot just to get what you need sometimes, y'all. Give me the bridge now. I feel like busting loose, busting loose. Give me the bridge now. I feel like busting loose, busting loose. Let me hear y'all say. Like 
That was your first hit, took you to Soul Train. Then you did, uh, it don't mean a thing if you ain't got that go-go swing. Yeah, but the first hit we had was uh, We The People. That's, That's right. back in 1970. We The People. Everybody looks up to you, Chuck. You have all these young people out here doing go-go now, looking up to the Godfather. You're the one and only in the D.C. area that holds the Fort Dam. You keep it going. And what do you have coming up in the future? Well, we got some new uh, new cuts that we're working on now, and, and I'm trying very hard to get that uh, done, you know. Uh, matter of fact, I'm working on two albums. I'm doing a little jazz thing, too. Yeah, because you do it all. You do jazz, blues, even gospel go-go. You got it going on in all there. Yeah, that didn't bring my guitar today, though, you know. <laughs> you, know you know how to pluck that guitar. <laughs> yes, you know. Yeah, I, I, I didn't bring it today, but uh, the next time. Next time I'll play. Well, guys, we have a very special guest here. I know that uh, sometimes people may be opinionated. I have the right to have my opinion. And uh, mine is that this is literally the first lady of our beloved genre of go-go. I have today for you our beloved doll baby. How you doing today? I am so fine. It's a beautiful day outside, and I just had to share it with everybody. 
Father Pooh, and I just can't wait to talk to you. Fantastic. And just let all the things I've been doing since I've been doing go go way back in the day. Exactly. And here's the thing. I personally want to say how much I have always admired you because, uh, and I'll be brief with that, but your entrepreneurship program that you've been doing all your life with your businesses. Um, I always liked your style. You always fly clean, but always classy though, right? <laughs> and the other thing is people don't know that um, you have been doing TV for, I mean, you're really a television pioneer in our town. That's why when I say first lady, it's not just the genre of go-go. Really, you're an entertainer and almost, we don't want to go far-fetched and say like a Madam C.J. Walker. But the point is, in that area too, look, I'm going to tell you, I went to Wilson High School and a lot of those females there were talking about you. You were doing their hair. Like They don't know your reputation in so many things is what I want to say. Okay? So with that said, doll baby, tell us, where did Doll Baby's life start? Oh, my goodness. I tell you, it started way, way, way back. It started with the gift and the name first, Doll Baby, that came from my dad. And I love doing Doll Baby's hair and, and dressing up my Doll Babies. That's first and foremost. And um, I think I shared with you the story a long time ago about how Back then, it was very hard to find a black doll baby, especially a fat one. And so Christmas, I wanted that doll baby. I was so excited. I was just dreaming about having this fashionable doll baby that was black. And um, Christmas time came, and I never got that doll baby. And I sobbed, and I cried, and I told my dad, you know, like, I really wanted the doll baby. But at that time, they were scarce. So people were running out trying to buy the first one. And they wanted to have that doll baby. So they got it before I did. And um, I was very hurt. And that's how the name came about. My dad said, you're my doll baby. And I just dreamed as a child, you know, growing up and traveling the world and getting doll babies from all over the world. They look like different people. I wanted an Asian doll baby. I wanted a, a black doll baby from Africa. But I wanted them to look like what we see today, dress, dressing fashionable, looking beautiful. Not a maid, you know, doll baby. Not a cabbage patch, but a beautiful doll baby. And so my dad gave me that gift, that name, carried it on and on. And now I have a business called uh, Dolls Beautiful Blessings. And I'm able to you know, show my clothing line, my lipsticks, my jewelry and everything. And that's how it all began. I grew up and we had a family band called T-Funk. And my cousin Jimmy played the sax. He used to play for Pump Blenders. I don't know if you remember Pump Blenders with Kevin and he played the roller tons. Doo -doo 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 -doo. And I used to admire them growing up because you got to remember, I'm a teenager. And, um, I'm watching them and I'm saying, I want to be like them. You know, he's on the roller times. And, and then I remember going to see Essence and little Benny. And, and I just admired them from afar and I wanted to be on stage. And so my cousins let me be in a band and I started out playing the cowbell. And then it went from the cowbell to, I want to play percussions. And, you know, my family was friends with Dyke, Psych Dyke. That's right, from Trouble Funk. And Psych Dyke believed in me and he inspired me to get T-Bone to teach me how to play the roller time. And so Timothy David, uh, T-Bone trained me on the roller times. And then I worked with my cues with AMFM and I played at the room. And I'd be on stage playing the roller times. And then Chuck Brown, who knew my dad, they were good friends, gave me the opportunity to actually do go go. And it's just the legends that I was around at that time, I didn't think anything of it you know what i mean but now i look back i'm like i was around some high achievers some awesome 
you know, people doing great things in the D.C. area, not just D.C., but they travel to Japan. Trouble Funk traveled to Japan and Chuck Brown was on Soul Train and, and Little Benny. He did a lot of great things, too, and they inspired me. And they didn't look at me as the first. It wasn't about the first because some great women came about afterwards, like Pleasure. They were the first female go-go band. female back in those days back in the early 80s actually hitting the mic and you know getting on stage at the ibex club and getting on stage at the capitol center and chuck giving me the mic and i actually got paid for it can you believe it because a lot of people told me that he would let him have the opportunity at the mic, but I actually got paid to be on stage. He respected me as a musician, and I will never forget that. I just love Chuck. I love Chuck. And then later on in life, I got a chance to interview him at a church. Yes. Let me let me ask you this. Um, how was it first trying to acquire those skills from T-Bone? Like, people don't understand that the work that goes into how did you really learn to do those percussions? Well, you know, Timo is an excellent, excellent musician. He's he plays all types of percussions. Like he can play with Shilla E, he can play Latin, he can play, he can play all types of music, not just go-go, just like Chuck Brown. He can play blues, he can play jazz. You know, these were great musicians. It wasn't just go-go. They could go out and play with anybody. <laughs>
And I just, they made me respect the skill. You know, he trained me very hard. It took countless hours. And then I had to buy my own roller tons. And I was in my house just getting on my mother's nerves <laughs> with the da -da 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 and the pss -pss and all that. And, and then, you know, I wanted to play drums. And my friend Leon Alexandra just played with Quincy Jones and Stephanie Mills. I mean, he's been on tour with everybody and then my friend Stan um uh Leon Alexandra and then Stan Jones uh played with Janet Jackson and so these are friends of mine that are great musicians that started out in DC playing go-go we were all playing with AMFM you know we were um doing stuff with Busey Boys Pump Blenders and people like that you know what I'm saying my cousin he played the sax for Pump Blenders for many years and um, Jim Tyson. And so, you know, we could come from a background of musicians and the love for music first. You know, it wasn't about just go-go, it was about playing all types of music, you know? So it was working with T-Bone, he will train you. He will, but he don't play, okay? That's first and foremost. If you wanna do this, you gotta do this. You know, you can't whine, you can't trip in, you know? You have to spend hours and hours and hours of time learning. And that's how he trained me for hours. And he, I would go home and he would be like, well, next week when you come back, you have to know this. You have to know that, you know. And it was just, it was, they didn't treat me any different than anybody else. Even though I was a female, I had to be a respected musician. Told y'all that I'm six foot, but with the money stabbing, I'm ten too. Too much that I've been through, so I put it all in that rear view. Clean money in a black whip, got old problems with a friend's new. So it was like, okay, if you're going to do this, doll, you have to get on the mic. Okay, I'm going to break it down to you like this. Chuck Brown used to say, whatever you do, big or small, do it well, or don't do it at all. Okay? So I learned <laughs> that if you want to be a musician you have to spend countless hours rehearsing rehearsing and just be a high achiever and they were high achievers did train me they were high achievers you know they didn't just you know play around with it they studied it you know and they took it to another level 36 yeah you got it going on or second really doesn't matter you know what i'm saying what matters is your strengths and your talents it's what you do with it i admire the the women that kept going like maisha and the hip hugger she kept going she kept going for it she didn't stop you see what i'm saying i admire belladonna the women of belladonna like i work with karis karis was trained by gogo -Go mickey gogo -Go mickey taught her how to play those congos and she's an excellent excellent musician she doesn't just play percussion she plays other instruments but she's still going you know she's with belladonna to this day and she's doing well so what i'm saying is it's not about the first or the second or the third it's about you know achieving your goals and keep going in whatever it is that you love you know what i'm saying see since i've done go go i've done lots of other things i've wrote a book I've traveled the world. I've um, done a TV show called Doll's Beauty Show, got countless awards for. Give the young people some advice out there about this violence. What would you tell them? 
I would say that the man is for real. I mean, it's not worth life is too short. You know what I'm saying? Have fun. You know, live and be happy, you know, and do do some positive things on the real note. Life is just too short. There are a lot of people that want to achieve a lot of things in life and you don't have to look at and betray the negative videos to get where you have to go today. You know, and if you notice, Trouble Funk, Chuck Brown, EU, and Original Red Essence will always be legends because they never followed. They were always leaders. The new the new groups, they have, a, you know, they play good music, but they follow a lot of the rap artists. And I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this right here. It may sound corny to y'all, but it's just too easy to do the wrong thing. You know what I'm saying? It's just too easy. And that's, that's, that's real. You know what I'm saying? Do the right thing. Do the right thing, good things you earn. For real. Blessing That's will positive. Come. You do the right thing, your blessing the will come. The Miller Showcase is here in the house with Juju House. All right, got it going on. I'm trying, I'm trying. I'm still hanging in there, you know what I'm saying? I'm still what you been up to lately? Well, I was out there with uh, Roberta for a while, Shaka. Shaka Khan. Yeah, Arrested Development. Woo! Oh, yeah, we was trying to do some things, represent D.C. up in the house, you know what I'm saying? Give them a little go-go flavor, let them see what a go-go, another part of what we do, you know what I'm saying? Now, what I remember was the Grace Jones track you played on, Slave to the Rhythm. Oh, yeah, 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 we, we've done some things. Also, um, uh, David Sanborn, close, close-up album, um, Scritti Politti with, uh, like, Rage Against Machine drummer, um, been doing some things here, yeah. doing some things. Adam Holzman, uh-huh. which is another cat play with Miles and uh, um, Miles Davis. Right, absolutely, right, right. And about to do uh, Dean Brown, guitar player from uh, David Sanborn, about to do his thing on his new album. So you are such a talented drummer. I have the pleasure to be with you tonight. I'll be able to interview to be with you tonight here, darling, right. and still looking like a dog, baby. Good Lord. Thank you. You're so Good Lord. sweet. Lord. <laughs> had been at the Capitol Center in front of thousands of people. You know, Chuck had me on stage performing there. I don't know if you remember the jukebox. Do you remember the jukebox? Uh, oh, the video, the video show? Yeah, I was on the jukebox. I remember doing the jukebox. I was on stage with Chuck Brown, and I couldn't even walk down the mall of Prince George's because people were stopping me everywhere saying, aren't you that girl on the jukebox? And then I did a video. My song did a video on BET, and um, it was on Video Soul. And I remember I couldn't walk anywhere in that 80s back then, for those that don't know. Yeah, I was a little popular. Oh, baby, was so delicious. See ya. <laughs>
some people, you know, and I remember Tigger, my first interview on the radio with WPGC. Hey, Tigger. I know he's watching. That's my buddy. And he remembers me way back then before he moved to Atlanta. And, you know, they gave me an opportunity. This is before Flex came and did Go-Go. This is way before Flex. But Tigger gave me an opportunity. Um, and it was a lot of people gave me a lot of opportunities back then. And then I did the Jet Beauty of the Week. I was a four-time Jet Beauty of the Week. This is one of my Jets. And um, I was in there. And Donnie Simpson would interview me. And... Um, it's so many different DJs back then. I can't remember them all, but they would invite me to talk about my experience on Jet. And that was a great time back then. It was just a great time. God is so good. Um, and also, these are records. You see what these are? These were my records. <laughs> back in the day so and my very first record was done with rio rio over at rio studios and um and on the song so, so delicious it says i'm the first girl to go go and i've arrived and i'm going to sock it to your baby all the way live delicious body delicious face and i feel you had the craving taste for something you've been waiting to do. And that's me just giving it to you. And that was Dolls. <laughs> dolls, so delicious. And I said that back in the early 80s. And Rio always says to me, yeah, she was the first girl to do go-go. Chuck said the same thing when he was living. Did Yes, you were the, you're the first. But it doesn't matter who's the first. It's the one who keeps it going, keeps it alive, and is doing well with whatever their dream is. You see what I'm saying? Your talent is, and your strengths is all that matters. It's not a title. Like people try to call me minister and some people call me pastor and things like that. I'm like, no, 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 no. I am just a disciple. I am a person that's out here serving God. My pulpit for real is behind the chair where I do hair. I have so many people that have changed their lives by just me curling their hair and talking to them when they cry out about the things that they're going through. So I speak to a lot of women on an everyday basis, every single day. Your ministry is everywhere. Your ministry is right here, right now, me talking to you. Can I tell you God is good? Yes, he is. Can he turn the situation around? Yes, he does. God is awesome. You have to know him for yourself. Sometimes it's good to just cry out to the Lord whenever you're going through something because God can turn it around. He is miraculous. He does above and beyond more than we can ever imagine. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how anybody cannot have a relationship with God, but I can because I can tell you firsthand he's awesome. He's awesome. The first thing I say when I get up in the morning is how grateful I am. I'm grateful for this interview. I'm grateful for you, Calvin, giving me this opportunity. I'm grateful for my Facebook friends that are watching, you know, because I know they're watching and the Instagram people and, and all the people in my path, in my life that made me who I am today, who did not give up on me. And the one that, you know, talk bad about me, mistreated me, lied on me and everything. But thank God for them too, because they made me who I am today. They gave me the strength to keep going. That's Amen. Right. Amen. You gonna definitely get what you need. Special dedication going out to everybody because everybody is special. We got my man Catfish Mayfield in the house with us tonight. Also, yo, Moon Man. Mr. Ernie Hill is outside. We're waiting on you to come on in here. Next Tuesday when you come back, bring your friends with you. Special dedication going out to Sylvia, Sean, Butch, Dan, Donnie, and Daryl. So nice to have you. I said one, two, three, she's loose as you see, like the invisible man and drag. Take you right over, best I meant to be facetious. And that look in her eyes, 
says you the guy she plans to spend this evening with. She's strange. And I like it, baby. She's strange. Special dedication going out to a sweet lady named Sylvia and Sheila. Happy birthday, Sheila. And the Oscar goes to...